Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be this going out look. It's really sexy and really, really easy to do. And this is a close up look of it. It's pretty much like a pink, kind of a smoky eye. I've got some cool contacts in and I'm ready to go. So let's get started. The first tool you're going to need is a blending brush. I'm going to be using this Maybelline New York Eye Studio palette in Pink Persuasion, picking up the pink color and dusting that all over my lids. Now I have a waxing strip underneath my eye just to catch any of the fallout, but there wasn't hardly any, so that was good. It was kind of a test in, in air kind of a thing and, and there was no fallout. Then taking a flat short shader brush and picking up some of that black eyeshadow and tapping off any of the excess, making sure that I don't have a lot of fallout on my face, especially if you do your um, face makeup before you do your eyeshadow. Now you're gonna push that black into the corners of your eyes and working that product to the tear duct. Then taking a black liquid liner, this is Maybelline's Master Duo in Black Lacquer and just kind of reinforcing the black line that you just made with the eyeshadow. And you don't have to be too neat with it because we are gonna go back and smudge it out even, so, even more. Because I want the line to be rather soft and not so sharp and harsh because it's not really a pinup look. It's more of a sexy, smoky, kind of a going out clubby kind of a feel. So going back with your flat shader brush, on top of that um, liquid liner, you're just gonna buff it out. Then using some mascara, this is the Maybelline New York Volume Express Hydro Fudge, sorry, <laughs> Hydro Fudge, and it's pretty much their waterproof mascara. Putting a couple of coats of that, then using an angled powder brush, dipping that into a matte bronzer. I like matte for contouring because you don't need any glitter in the hollows of your cheeks. Then taking a highlight powder, testing that with a stippling brush, onto the apples of my cheeks. It just gives my face a little bit more dimension and pops out the bones of my face that I want to make my face look slimmer. Then picking up this really nice bright colored blush. This is the Dream Bouncy Blush in Pink Frosting. It's really cute and I love the way it looks on my face. It's really, really soft color, but it's buildable at the same time. Now for my lip color, I'm using a Color Whisper in Faint for Fuchsia and I was really surprised by the color payoff as you can see, it's really, really bright, but my lips are still moisturized at the same time. I love that product. Then adding some more mascara to my bottom lashes after I fixed up my concealer um, and any foundation errors that I m might have had because that is so close to your eye. If you're gonna put the concealer underneath it, you're gonna, you might spread the mascara product. So that's why that comes last. Then taking that flat shader brush again and a little bit of that black eyeshadow and smoking out just the outer corner of your eyes. And once you've done that, that's pretty much it. This is the final look and we're done! Ready to go out and this is another close up look of the finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.